Uh, hello, my name is Genki Fuji. Uh, I'm an analyst and commentator of international politics and the economy. I'm talking from Channel Sakura. Channel Sakura is an independent TV station in Tokyo, Japan. Uh, today's topic is birth of new cabinet in Japan. Uh, finally, a space alien has invaded and conquered Japan. Our new prime minister is a space alien. His name is Yukio. Hatoyama. His nick nickname is uh, uh, Space Alien or Uchujin in Japanese. Uh, his family and name is uh, Hatoyama. Uh, Hatoyama uh, uh, spelling is like this. Hatoyama. Hato uh, means dove pigeon. Yama means a mountain. So Hatoyama uh, means a pigeon mountain, a mountain of pigeons. No bad name is uh, Mr. Hatoyama Davish. Uh, I think he's so quite so. He's very Davish, or rather, I would like to say he's pigeon hearted. Uh, Hatoyama is from a very rich family. Uh, his grandfather was a prime minister too. Uh, he's a politici politician of fourth generation. Uh, the Hatoyama cabinet started on September 16th. Uh, one uh, problematic minister in Hatama's cabinet is Mr. Okada. Uh, Katsuya Okada uh, is the Minister of Foreign Affairs. Mr. Okada is also from very rich family. His father is the top of a huge business group called Ewan Group. Uh, Ewan writes like the uh, spelling is A E O N. Uh, Mr. Okada, minis Minister of Foreign Affairs. Uh, his uh, father uh, runs a huge business group called Ewan Group, A U O N. Uh, Ewan means uh, eternity or being forever. Uh, anyway, Ewan Group runs supermarkets and shopping centers all over Japan. Uh, I see the big problem in the new cabinet, that is a problem of foreign policy. Uh, Mr. Hatoyama, our new prime minister, and Mr. Okada, minister of foreign affairs, to put it simply, they are very pro-China and they are anti-US. Uh, Mr. Hatoyama's party is called the Democratic Party. They call themselves Democrats, however, they detest America, a democratic country, and they both like China, country of communist dictatorship. Almost they love China. Why so? Probably because they are leftists. They are liberal, they are very progressive, and they are compromising to communists and socialists. When Mr. Hatoyama criticizes American market fundamentalism, almost he sounds like President Chavez of Venezuela. The most dangerous element in East Asia is Chinese military expansionism. That is so clear. But our Prime Minister and our Minister of Foreign Affairs definitely fails to see this danger. They fail to see also violation of freedom and human rights in China. Uh, Mr. Okada embraces one ethical problem. Uh, that is, his father's group, Iwon, runs big business in China. Uh, China is not a free country. In China, in order to be successful in business, you must buy political favor of the Communist Party. Everybody knows this. Iwon group owns a huge business stake in China. If China were a free country like the U.S., uh, I wouldn't see any problem. But China is different. China is not a free country. It's a country of communist dictatorship. Business is political too in China. And China is a big military threat to Japan and free Asia. Mr. Okada's pro-China tendency is quite dangerous and he's disqualified to be a Minister of Foreign Affairs, I believe. And now we have uh, Hatoyama cabinet, uh, pigeon cabinet. Is a pigeon good bird? It's a stupid question, but I like to play with word. Pigeon. Spelling is like this, P-I-G-E-O-N. And let's divide this word into two parts, pig and eon. 
Eon, E-O-N. Also, the spelling is A-E-O-N, the name of uh, Mr. Okada's business group. So pig plus Eon is pigeon. Pigeon is pig plus Eon. And, uh, but the Chinese prefer pork to beef, and uh, pig uh, is just an animal, but sometimes pig is considered to be a symbol of ferocious appetite or insatiable greed, insatiable greed for money, uh, money, especially dirty money. And so the pigeon means pig, and Okada's business group's name, or being, being pig forever. Pigeon means, can mean that. So Hatoyama and Okada, uh, do they like to live like pigs forever? Or what, do they have guts to stand up for freedom and democracy against the Chinese communists? Uh, I very much doubt their guts, however, I hope uh, they will discard their old philosophy. Rather, probably they will discard uh, human rights and freedom for the cause of money. I'm afraid. Thank you very much for being with me today. See you next time.